Virgo and welcome to Gemini Soul Tarot. Thank you guys for coming back or if you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome to Gemini Soul Tarot where I do all of the zodiac signs every month and sometimes a whole lot of different collective readings in between. Just depends on what the spirit guides me to do. So guys, this may not resonate with all of you. It is a love reading for Virgo. I'm just fixing my cards. I don't know why they like this. Okay. Because I do not start with any of my cards in reverse. All my cards are upright. I feel if the spirit wants them to be in reverse, then he will make sure they come out that way. Virgo, this is your love reading. Uh, check your sun, your moon, and rising if it does not resonate with you. Because that would be just perfectly fine. It will not resonate with everyone. I want to tell you, Virgos, who are a subscriber already, thank you so much for helping me reach 1K. Thanks for the comments, subscribe, and sharing. If you are not part of the Gemini Soul family, please hit that um, notification button and subscribe, comment, do whatever you want. This is a freestyle channel. I know it's Gemini Soul, but that's just... How Jim, this is just how Gemini read from the soul, right? I'm just a soul reader that happens to be a Gemini, honey. Well, I'm a cusper, Gemini cusper. All right, so just so you know a little something about me, so I do do readings for all energies regardless, okay? Now you may see more Gemini or Cancer or Virgos on my channel because of my rising is a Virgo. So, that is one reason you should definitely subscribe because I do do a lot of Virgo readings also. Alright, let's get going. I know you guys say enough of the chatter. That that wasn't a good cut for me. That wasn't, I just, it just didn't feel right for me, y'all. I'm sorry. It just, come on now, what's going on? Okay, Virgo, you don't want to talk? What's, what's going on, Virgo? All right, what's going on with your love life? Let's start off by asking, who loves Virgo? What's going on with Virgo? Who loves Virgo? Spirit guys, it's two. Virgo, okay, starting on, you got the queen of pentacles. Okay, Virgo, the first card that we got out, we're going to talk about is the ten of wands. Someone loves you, Virgo, that is burdened at this time. Oh, let's see what we're feeling. Virgo, I feel like they want to drop the burdens and they want to come in and communicate with you. But I think they feel that you think they nothing but a plat plat and that the burdens may not be the burdens that you will deal with. And that could be deciding and committing and knowing what it is that they want to move forward in a relationship with you. That's just what I'm picking up. May not resonate with all of you, Virgo, but someone... They burden, and they also, part of the burden is that they feel that you feel that they like, they show up like a player player in and out. With a little passion here and there, and then they're gone and you don't hear from them. Virgo, I'm uh, um, also feeling like um, this person may have a lot going on in their life right now. Is making it very difficult for them to show up for the connection. Um, they also, we have the four of pentacles in reverse. They also feel, Virgo, you ain't going to hold on to this much longer. That you're going to release this and, and let this relationship go. Yeah, because uh, the nine of ones, they feel you guarded about against this, about them coming in or communicating with any communication to you at this time in regards to the relationship because you don't feel that they're showing up to the connection the way you need them to show up. And they, um, but this, I just heard this Virgo, this person's saying they're going through a lot. They've been through a lot. So they may be just afraid of letting go of their old ways uh, because they've been guarded and hurt themselves in the past relationships. This is what I'm hearing. You could be dealing with a fire sign for sure. Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Definitely could be another earth sign like yourself. Um, let's see. Uh, why, why does this person even want to... Okay. I was about to ask, why does this person... You know, this is why this person loves you, you know, Virgo, or wants this connection with you. It's the Ten of Pentacles. 
So one or two things, you are very stable. And this person wants to be with you because they see you as very stable. Or they see you as a full-blown on commitment. But they got fears and burdens right now. Or they're struggling with leaving... There's, yeah, well, they're struggling with how to show up for this connection. I'm also hearing Virgo, they're struggling with how to show up for this connection so that you can see their worth. This person may have been through a lot and very guarded, and maybe they even know that they're not showing up the way that they need to, and they're trying to see how to show up for this connection so that you'll see their worth. Well, then the question that I ask is why they love you. And the reason they love you is the Ten of Pentacles. Which the Ten of Pentacles is basically everything, right? It's definitely stability. It could be marriage, family, commitment, right? They see you have all that potential and that is why they love you and they want to show up for the connection. At least that's what they see. And how honest it is, let's see. Yeah. The chariot. The other reason why they love you is they see you moving on with that stability so this person virgo is in the background seeing you stable wanting to move on and that you're probably going to drop this connection because you don't feel it's an equal give and take or this person is not showing up for the connection like you want them to show up and they are afraid that you're probably about to yeah move on in your chariot and uh, lead that connection because you're good on your own virgo you're stable all on your own. You don't necessarily need anyone, right? You don't need, you might want, but you don't have, you don't need love or someone to help you uh, be stable in your life at this time. So uh, I'm also seeing you maybe leaving this person behind if they can't get it together, Virgo. Uh, yeah, seven of pentacles. In reverse, you, yeah, you moving on because it's like you don't see any growth in this relationship, Virgo. You're like, you know what? I'm just going to take my portion, get in my chariot, and I'm going to move on because uh, your seven, my ten, my tens are right. Your seven's in reverse. That's not growth for me. I'm not going backwards in life. I'm trying to move forward. So I need you to move this seven of pentacles in reverse out of my way, like get out of the light. I need you to move out the light. You, you blocking the sun, the light, Virgo. I mean, I'm sorry, y'all. I ain't saying this for all of you, Virgos, but somebody blocking somebody's light, and they're like, excuse me, excuse me, please, the light turn green. I need to go that way. <laughs> I'm just saying, Virgo, this is what I'm seeing. What else is it we got? What about this person? They just, oh, my goodness, five of ones. They just, it's in reverse. <sighs> This person, they've been conflicted within they self. I think that's just within they self of their worth. I think this person has some self-worth issues. Like, just not seeing how to show up or how to change things in their life so that they can move forward to you. Like, their own self-worth is holding them back from moving towards you. I truly think they do care about you. But... There's no growth in it because they first got the Virgo. They have to learn to. I don't know. It's. They got to. Maybe they need to unblock their heart. Maybe they need to get out of their head. They really in their head. Right. And they already know that they're losing you. That you about to take off. They see it. So it's not that they don't see it. But they have no way. They don't understand how to come towards you, Virgo. They don't understand what to do. They don't. They, pretty much they don't understand what it is to do. Now, this came out in reverse. Like, this person, they, and they, I don't know. Virgo. This person knows what they have to do. But they don't know how to do it. Like, you got the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Like, they know that in the past, maybe they was not given an equal give and take in a relationship. They saw in reverse over. I mean, they know the thing is upright is being conflicted and things like that. They, they, this person, Virgo, they know you want an equal give and take in a relationship. 
but they're having a hard time of how to show up for it. Either they know you've dropped it, let it go, moving on, and probably not going to give them another chance because you never, you didn't see growth. Maybe you've been around a little too long, 10 years, 7 years, waiting on this person to grow up and show up for the connection, and they didn't, and you got tired and just said, forget it. And now they know, yeah, queen of, the queen of cups in reverse. they like, yeah, she, she not getting no love, no commitment to this relationship. She walking away from this. Uh, the cup is empty. There's no more emotions, love, wanting to put in in this relationship. At least that's the way they feel. Now, this can definitely be you, Virgo. Like, look, I ain't got no more love for this situation. There's no growth in it. You know, the passion even then felt. I mean, I don't even know if I love this person anymore. It's been so toxic and so burdensome. And it's, it's like Virgo just waking up one morning, packing the car up or... Just packing a car, putting the car, like, I'm out of here. I, I got to go. I'm going I, I'm going away from here. I'm going away from here. I'm taking what I got. I'm getting away from here because there's nothing here. There is not even any more love. There's no growth. There's no commitment, understanding, working on this. We're not going nowhere. This is completely not working for me. You know, this Virgo waking up one morning, block, putting somebody on block, like, please, don't contact me anymore. I really... I can't do this anymore. It's not working for me or you. That's just what I heard. That's just what I heard. That's what I heard. Page of Wands. Yeah. Virgo, you getting in that chariot and you getting fired up. And you like, look, I don't even know where I'm going. <laughs> you just like, did you just got in the car? Just get it. Look, and if you got kids, everybody get in the car. Everybody get in the car. They're like, well, where we going? It don't matter. Just get in the car. You don't even know where you're going. You done took the kids with you and every, every, we, we done here. We done. <laughs> get, get your teddy bears. Get your bottles. Get your pampers. Well, you know what? Matter of fact, leave all that behind. We Look, we got the Ten of Pentacles. We're going to buy some on the road. We just got to get out of here before they return. <laughs> that ain't funny. That's not funny at all. I, I that's not the spirit, you know, these spirit guys be doing too much, you know. Uh but I'm just telling you, just as you Virgos, it's like, you know what, this time is up. I'm done. I'm done. And this person knows it and they see you literally. Yeah, this could have been a marriage. You got the emperor, you got the emperor in reverse. This is a marriage. You done packed up with the kids, the whatever you got that you could look. I'm surprised the fool card and can fools fool fool card didn't come out because you know with the fool he got that one little bitty bag he ain't got nothing don't know where he's going to jump off the cliff just gone and fool and it, that, that's what i'm feeling right that's the energy i'm feeling right now like they left out for work you come back you like i'm out of here i'm gone when they get back but, but the thing is they knew you were doing it so it's not they knew they wasn't giving the equal give and take they had that in and out energy they you know but and they wasn't really trying the four pinnacles in reverse upright is holding on to something right tightly wanting to hold on they got the four pinnacles in reverse they weren't even trying to hold on to you no more it was the end so this person also knew it was done knew that whatever they was bringing to the connection was not equal to what you had in the connection or they did not want to give to this connection anymore either one or the other i don't know you know your situation yeah and um <laughs> there may have been a time you got the magician in reverse see when you're dealing with people with issues like this it starts to i'm telling you their energy starts to affect yours you was up there trying to manifest one nothing coming through no it came on the seven pinnacles that's in reverse really but see when you got the wrong energies and soulmate and people around you this is how they turn your life inside out you sitting there waiting for them to get better, and you going in reverse. You can't even manifest. You can't even manifest a gallon of milk, <laughs> a gallon of milk for the children. I'm serious. I'm just saying. This is in reverse. All what you wanted, your manifestation. You just seen it just going out the window. Like I am getting nowhere. My wheels are turning, but I am not moving. And you could have been putting a lot in this relationship. Not only love and pinnacles, or taking care of family, or balancing out yourself, your life, trying to do what all it could. And this person was just running wild. Though just swinging back and forth, back and forth, Virgo. It was just swinging back and forth. And you sitting there just going in and out the work. In and out to work. Why they got it just swinging like you just, I don't know. 
Virgo, I'm girl, male, man, whichever one it is. Mm mm, mm mm. Woo, okay. Okay, we, we, we need, Virgo, you need something better, honey. Male or female, it don't matter because it could be a female doing this, you know. They get up in their toxic behaviors. It's just, it's all about energy. So, what else we got here, Spirit? What else do we have here? Yeah, the devil. Yeah, this person, yeah, they toxic. That was toxic. You realize the toxicity in this, and you just like, yeah, I'm out. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. Ain't gonna be no. Ain't gonna be no more of that. Yeah. <laughs> Look, <laughs> Virgo, I told you. Virgo's like, uh, uh. That's it. That's it. Mm, mm. That's it. That's it. Get, get your stuff. Get your stuff. I'm out here. I'm single. I'm moving on. I'm taking my pinnacles with me. I may have lost one because I had 10 at first. But guess what that one pinnacle you lost? That person that was sitting over here doing nothing anyway. So here you go. Now you're the nine of pinnacles showing up in all your glory. You're going to move forward and do something. So, you know, don't... Virgo, I know I'm, I'm joking about this, but this could be heartbreaking. But not really, Virgo, because... If you really want to be truthful, you ain't sharing that cup no more anyway. You became so burdened and seen no growth in there. I'm telling you, because I'm telling you, when somebody ain't doing their part of the relationship, you can find love real quick. You know what I'm saying? Like, wait a minute. When you start realizing you carrying all the burdens and taking care of everything and ain't showing up for the commitment, shoot, all of a sudden you like, wait a minute, my cup is empty. No, 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 you know, and if it's empty, then you ain't got no love there anyway. Virgo realizes that cup was empty, honey, got in that doggone chariot. I had 10, I dropped one pinnacle, I left one pinnacle behind, you keep that. I'm going with the nine and I'll start all over, because I can't even manifest. So, now that you didn't moved away from this person, your manifestation is reverse. I can guarantee you now, you're going to be able to manifest all kind of stuff in your life now, Virgo, I'm telling you. Oh, oh, yeah, I told you. I told you. Now you didn't laugh from Virgo. Look. Ah. <laughs> Virgo, they see you too. Virgo, they see you in all your glory. They're like, look at you. Look at <laughs> Uh oh. Uh oh, Virgo. Somebody else see you too. Somebody else see you too, huh? Somebody else see you too, Virgo. Well, this came out first, in it? So you know what that means. <laughs> now, Virgo, I see. I just heard something really quick. Let me tell you. I got the two of swords under the bottom. Don't go blocking off you. Now you wasn't able to manifest. Now you're able to manifest. Don't go blocking off your heart, putting the blindfolds on, because you realize you're still dealing with this, this mess over here that wasn't even for you. Let it go. Let it, it was toxic. It wasn't working. They wasn't putting nothing in. They seen you leaving, and they didn't care nothing about you leaving. They didn't even try to stop you from leaving, okay? And if they did, they didn't put enough effort in there for you. But anyway, this two of swords worry me under the bottom because I don't want you blocking your heart off and not giving to a new connection that comes in because you wasn't able to manifest. And if you're able to manifest now, you know, you got your nine, you need that ten back. Open your eyes, see it, take them blindfold off because the reason I say that it's because you got this uh, six of wands. This is victory. Someone seeing you, seeing you in all your glory, seeing your worth. They see you. They see you standing out there like that. You know what I'm saying? And you are now able to manifest that you let these low vibe energies go and chose yourself. Right? And now that you didn't chose yourself, your manifestations will come true. Because guess what? Because <laughs> that's what's coming. You know, this person, see, look, this is how it is. Look, they see you. Now, this is a person coming in off a true cup that wants to commit and move in and move towards you. Now, I ain't saying everything has to happen so quickly, but this relationship been over. So, this may come in quicker than you think because, you know, when time is up, time is up in a relationship. And this Seven of Pentacles looked like it been in reverse for a while. This person wasn't putting in a relationship for years. So, your time come quickly with your manifestation now that you chose you. To fill your cup up and realize your cup was not being filled in that relationship. And now the universe is finna send you someone in equally balanced as you to give to this relationship. Right? Or they, and definitely they see you standing in the victory and all your glory. Right? And they see you as the nine of pentacles. See your worth and see what you have to offer to a relationship. So if this person is in your life right now, don't... Don't block them all, Virgo, because this is meant for you, right? You have left, you left that stiff, you know, you left that stiff. I think that's what I'm, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't do, I don't know, I don't know what the spirit is. 
You how about we just you left the how about we just left the burdens behind? Virgo has left the burdens behind, honey. Yeah, that's it. Virgo I may still put stiff there because you got this. This reading need to get to the Virgos that need to hear this for real. So spirit has to give it. But I think Vir, Vir, Virgos have left the building. <laughs> that's it. Virgos have left the building. Virgo, you have left the building, honey. And uh, the reason why you left the building so you can uh, move on to your uh, happier days in life, okay? So, um, but this is beautiful, you know? Sometimes we got to go through something to get what it is we want. And sometimes we got to understand what it is that we're going through so that when we get what we get, we can appreciate what we got. All right, okay. Now... Let's see what you could be dealing with here, Virgo. You got a fire sign, you got a water sign, you got an earth sign and an air sign, Virgo. Let's see what card you we'll use these. All right, all right, what do we got here? Fire sign is Virgo is dealing with a fire sign spirit. You got the seven of cups. It's an illusion. I think that's over here. <laughs> that's over. That was an illusion. You woke up out that illusion. That was a fantasy world. Something you thought was gonna get off the ground, but it did not. If that was a fire sign, it did not get off the ground like you thought. Okay. Or you got options with fire signs coming in. That's got quite a few different more cups, but. I think this was just an illusion in the relationship that you had. Could have been with a fire sign or not necessarily a fire sign, but they could have had a lot of fire in their chart. Okay, if it's a water sign, you got the nine of swords and you have the hangman. I'm going to take both of them because when two come out, it's mean something. So, this is you being stagnant, anxiety, not sure if to move forward in this direction or whatever. So, I believe that could have been the past thoughts because you're in the chariot and moving forward now, okay? So, Virgo, it could have definitely be uh, this person now, if it was a water sign that you was dealing with, is now having anxiety and trying to see how it is to move forward towards you. Because I believe if this is water sign coming in offering the Knight of Cups, offering you uh, their cup, they're trying to see how to move towards you because they may feel that you're going to block them off and your heart's blocked and you may not accept them. They could have sleepless nights, anxiety, trying to figure out how to move towards you where you will accept them and see them in daylight because they may be afraid that you're still healing and you ain't going to see them. But I hope that's not true, Virgo, okay? Don't miss your blessings. If it's an earth sign that you're dealing with, Virgo, whoop. If it's an earth sign that you're dealing with, you have the, it came out in the upright, but it is a queen of pentacles in the, I mean, it came out in the reverse. The queen of pentacles. Uh, I'm feeling like this, the, where you was there in the house, <laughs> home, building, probably wherever it is that you was, you in reverse, you said, I am not nourishing this situation no more. Mm -mm. I'm getting up. I'm getting out of here. I'm not finna be your second mama and just be sitting here waiting on taking care of the family, the kids, and doing all this stuff while you whipping around and around. Uh-uh. I'm going out and be the nine of pentacles. I'm no longer going to be the wife. That's why I'm in reverse. I ain't sharing. I ain't gearing, giving. I ain't doing nothing. I'm finna go take care of me. So, you know, in the upright, it's very nourishing with all abundance around, giving love, showing up, equal giving, taking a relationship. I no more. She said, uh -uh, I'm running out of here with my nine of pentacles and, and I'm not giving nothing. I ain't doing nothing. I left you once, so be good with that. And I'll see you on the other side when that time comes. Okay. If you're dealing with an air sign, Virgo, if you're dealing with an air sign, Virgo, it's the six of cups. This is something from the past. You have a nostalgia memory. This cup, could this nine of cups? Now, I know y'all don't want to hear Definitely could be somebody that you thought about having a relationship with in the past. It didn't get off the ground. You ain't really get with them. Uh, or this person could be an air sign or uh, either a water sign, whatever. This person feels you, makes you feel that like child energy again, alive, feel good, bring you flowers, call you, spend time with you, putting in in a connection. Hey, y'all, that was it. Putting in for the connection and everything like that, right? So, this person could definitely just be that person for you, 
right? That you feel like they're a soulmate and they have more to give to connection. You just feel bonded with them in some type of way. And definitely could just be uh, someone from the past that's coming at you now and see that you have left that zero to get with a hero. And it's like, now here's my turn to come back and I'm on my way. <laughs> yes, because you got the 10 of cups under the bottom. Yes, Virgo. <laughs> you and the kids going to be happy. I get that new car, new house, new all that. Okay, and if it ain't no kids, it's just you got in the car and walked away, you about to have that ten of cups. So if you didn't have kids and focus and all that because of the stuff wasn't right over here and you just couldn't see yourself committing, having kids and building because it just wasn't going nowhere, that's why you couldn't have it because the Spirit don't want you bringing all that into this drama over here, okay? All right. So anyway, Virgo, this was a beautiful reading. I wish you love and light. Don't forget the thumbs up on your way out. Subscribe, share, comment. And don't forget to hit the notification button. And I look forward to seeing you in your next reading. Bye.